Hi folks, it's Matt. In this video, we're gonna go over the Snowflake Lessons app uh, that comes with your Snowflake multi-teach software that came with your Clever Touch board. Um, so to get to Snowflake Lessons, you'll need to join the community. Uh, and the website for that is uh, written right here, and we'll, we'll go there in just a second. Um, MTLC stands for multi-teach learning community that newtech.com forward slash sign up and uh, we'll get there when we get over to the Snowflake side here in just a second. So I'm gonna switch inputs on you here. I'm gonna go over to my computer, jump right over to Snowflake, and on your tools menu, um, we'll go to the browser first, but you can see these are some of the tools that you have available to you, the whiteboard. Um, I'll go to the browser because I want you to see what the Snowflake Lessons community looks like. So I'm gonna X out of my keyboard here, go to my favorites, and this is gonna be the same on your Clever Touch board. Your Lessons community is here. It's a shortcut video is going to pop up here in just a second. Anyway, this is what your, your uh, web page looks like. Click on sign up for free. You'll, it'll ask you for a username and password. And because uh, you have a Snowflake account, um, you won't get any, any strange advertisements or that kind of thing. So I'm going to close that up. Um, and we're going to go to Lessons. And the first time I go to Lessons and I go to the community, come up here to community lessons it's going to ask me to sign in I'm already signed in so you can see these are some of the lessons that I have available to me if I click on all these are all the lessons I've downloaded or created uh, I've created lesson list down here so I have uh, English I've got a form 2 lesson I've got a few videos um, sorry uh, lessons in here uh, in each one of these folders um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to search so we're gonna go to community I'm gonna go to age group I'm just gonna pick the big kids here uh, sort by math. I'm going to select all the lessons I have available to me. In another video, we're going to go over the difference between drop and match and quiz and those kind of lessons. But I'm just going to select all of them and then I'm going to pick the United States that kind of narrows my search down a little bit. All right, so I'm going to click on download and I'm going to download my lesson and it's going to show up in my all folder. Okay, it's got importing, and now it's gonna be in my, there's, you can see right here, my function graphs update, so it's in my all list. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this functions graph update, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new list. I'm gonna click my keyboard here, and I'm gonna call this math. Enter that. So I've got a math list now, and you can see it's sorted it alphabetically. So I'm gonna take this functions graph update and I'm gonna drag it. You can barely see it. You can see it turns a little green right here. I'm gonna drop that into math. Uh, US history timeline, I'm gonna drop that into social studies. Um, Presidents of the USA, I'm just doing these couple things here. I have this math one, I'm gonna drag it in here. And again, you can see that it's green. And so I'm gonna to go to my math folder and you can see there's my two lessons. Social studies, I've got my lessons that I've sorted out. So instead of having to search through my all list uh, by scrolling up and down, I can go to each one of these as I've saved uh, different lessons. So um, just in a nutshell, going out to the community is pretty straightforward. We can, uh, we can do this again. I can go to 10 to 12, I can go to history, and you can see here's my, here's a couple that I've already downloaded. I can click on download uh, and, and uh, see how long that takes and then I can put it into my uh, particular folder. All right, so that's lessons in a nutshell. In another video, we're gonna go over how to create lessons. I'm gonna go over some of those lessons with you, uh, but for now, I just wanted to show you the community, getting on the community and searching lessons. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us to support. Thanks for watching.